Thank you very much. Uh, I think this is our last one, is it not? Song off our first record. It's actually the first track off the first record. It's called Geographic Center of Canada.
so much. You guys have been fantastic. That was the Wheat Pool performing live here in Grand Prairie on Alberta Backstage on the CKUA Radio Network. Guys, what an amazing show you put on. It's truly a thrill to have you here uh, live on CKUA Airwaves as part of Alberta Backstage. It's a tremendous uh, time being here at the community center in Grand Prairie known as Center 2000. And Rob Angus of the Brothers Angus from the Wheat Pool joins me uh, for a final little chat here to wrap up the Alberta Backstage program for this evening. Rob, uh, as you mentioned before, you and Mike are brothers, of course, and that sort of brings a certain special relationship, I'm sure, that you only get when you share DNA. What's it been like uh, playing with your brother? Have you always played together? You mentioned yeah. that you had been in bands separately before the Wheat Pool. Yeah, What's that evolution been like? Um, yeah, fine. I mean, we didn't really ever play in bands together until we formed the Wheat Pool. Mike had been playing in bands. Uh, growing up, and I had been in a few later on, actually, and, um, and that's how we both ended up with a handful of songs that we each had, and had never written together. We still don't wow. write together. Really? No. That's and, uh, No, it's perfect. Don't worry. <laughs> and, uh, Is it a competitive relationship? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm really? just kidding. And, well, I noticed that you guys trade off a lot. You support yeah, each right. other, playing bass, playing acoustic guitar, yeah. playing electric guitar, and of course you alternate back and forth fronting the band and right. alternate songwriting, as you say, as uh, separate yeah, songwriting right. units. Uh, is it just all happen organically, or do you have to really battle it out to decide who's going to do what? No, it's pretty good. We try and keep it 50-50. Um, I mean, we bring what we think are finished songs to the band, and then uh, the four of us sort of just kind of hammer out the details and work on arrangement, and sometimes we flip things up as a band, but the writing is mostly separate. Um, with the second record, there was a little more uh, of us working together, and then, I mean, in the last year, we've probably spent more time than ever working on things together and coming up with stuff as a band. So, I mean, it's evolving, and it's kind of, it's, it's nice that way. As was it a situation where one of you idolized the other growing up? Uh, I'm not sure which one of you is older. Mike is older. Mike is older. Okay, well, say no more. <laughs> oh, we'll move on. How about, let's talk about Shameless Records. Both sure. the albums that you guys put out, uh, Ontario, the 2009 album, and Township, the debut from 2007, have been on the Edmonton-based Shameless record imprint. Uh, tell us a little bit about your involvement with that record label. Uh, well, Glenn, our guitar player, is actually the president of Shameless Records. Well, okay. <laughs> and uh, so friends of ours ha that had bands, um, actually people you guys would know and that you guys play on CKUA, Dion sure. Blyan being one of them, mm -hmm. uh, F&M, who have a great new album out as well. Um, we knew them from before and Glenn was working with them uh, before we really put the band together. So once, uh, once we put the band together, it seemed like a natural fit. And, uh, you know, Shameless is an independent label. We're an independent band, yeah. uh, and it's a great fit that way. We share a lot of the similar ethics and, and uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So. Well, you were mentioning earlier on that you guys are uh, definitely, you, you identify with your uh, environment very strongly. There's a strong sense of place in your songwriting, and you're always talking about your Albertan community. Uh, you mentioned a couple of bands from the Edmonton area. What are some Albertan musicians that have been influential on you guys? Uh, absolutely old reliable I'd say it's been a big sure. one um, man you're putting me on the spot here guys can you help well me in out? fact you you dedicated a song to uh, Mark Davis uh, on the township we did. Album yeah actually notes. yeah the song Neil from Young reliable. from the first album was a song I wrote after spending about three months of listening to their album the gradual moment over and over and over and over and over again <laughs> and that's how that song came well the wheat pool has been together for about five or six years uh, as Glenn mentioned, uh, there's been a lot of music you guys have played. You've played a lot of shows, and the songs have really uh, held strong for you guys. And you've had a chance to catch a little bit of a break as of late. Uh, what's it been like catching your breath and taking a little bit of a step back away from the band? Uh, at first, it was kind of scary because um, we hadn't done it. And you feel like you always kind of have to have your foot on the gas pedal, I think, as a band to stay on everybody's radar, to you know, stay relevant with radio stations, with fans, with clubs, with... And there's that pressure that you feel like you always have to be, have something on the horizon. Sure. And, uh, you know, after five or six years, it just felt like maybe a little too much. So that was by design. We took about six months off. Um, didn't play very many shows. And just sort of took that time to recommit to what we've got coming up in the next uh, year or so. Well, that segues nicely into my next question. I was going to ask you really briefly. Uh, we're rubbing up against the end of the program, but can you tell us uh, what you have in mind for Albertan live music settings for the near future for the Wheat Pool? Uh, well, 
in the near future, we don't have anything in Alberta, which again is by design. We're trying to uh, spend a lot of time out between here and Vancouver Island and then try and get out to Winnipeg and back, spend some time getting back to those places that we haven't been in a while. Uh, and in the last three or four months, we've played a handful of shows around Edmonton and, and Alberta. So we're trying to maybe just uh, stay away for a bit so people can <laughs> hear us again coming up with some new vigor. And uh, so, yeah, we're working on uh, some Western Canadian stuff. R starting to write again and uh, just working towards, you know, putting out the next bit of material. And wetting people's appetites for some more Albert and Dates from the Wheat Pool with this performance, the first ever performance in Grand Prairie by you guys here at Centre 2000 on Alberta Backstage. Rob Angus, the Angus Brothers, the Wheat Pool. How about it one more time? A good old Grand Prairie round of applause for these fellas. Now we've drawn a name from people here at Centre 2000 who entered our contest to win a Wheat Pool CD and a CKUA hoodie and the winner is Dean Drysdale of Grovedale, Alberta. Dean Drysdale. All right. <laughs> That's just about all the time we have left for tonight's program. Before we say goodbye, a quick call to arms. CKUA is shortlisted for the opportunity to receive a $100,000 grant to support a songwriter in residence program to help junior songwriters in Alberta. In order to receive the grant, CKUA needs to have the most online votes for our project. Anyone can vote for the CKUA project. Just go to the CKUA website and right on the front page you'll see a big red button that says vote. Click on that and you can do your part to support CKUA and young songwriters such as the burgeoning talent that we've been hearing tonight. We want to thank our program sponsor TransCanada, the leading energy infrastructure company in North America. Our broadcast sound technician is Scott Franchuk from Riverdale Recorders, house sound by Keith Lowe from TK Pro Audio, executive producer of Alberta Backstage, Brian Dunsmore, with thanks to Laura Connor. Alberta Backstage is produced by Daryl Rochelle. Join us next Friday on Alberta Backstage for music and conversation with Joe Nolan and Lane LaRue. Up next on CKUA, stay tuned for the Friday Night Blues Party with Cam Hayden. I'm Grant Stovall. Thanks for listening. Thanks to the Wheat Pool. And good night from Grant Prairie.